Yeah, welcome back to the winner's enclosure. Of course, a nice encouraging debut performance from number 11, Oscar Wilde. He's a son of dynasty out of the Western Wintermere. Lady Windermere who was uh, very good, trained by the Glen Cotson camp. And good to have Gavin Lareen and, of course, the legend himself, Mike DeCock, on course this afternoon. Well done, Gav. Uh, first of all, before we touch on the horse itself, track condition, you happy? Yeah, happy, Brand. Uh, you know, the feeling, the track feels good out there. Um, there's a bit of a headwind, but uh, sure to be a great day's racing. Back to this individual, I think there's a lot of promise to take out of this because uh, you got badly squeezed out of the gates and uh, the way he quickened up, impressive. Yeah, it was an impressive win. Um, yeah, obviously we got the squeeze out the gate and uh, the pace was very false, uh, quite a muddy race and um, it was a canter sprint which I don't think would suit him but um, he turned it on well today and uh, I liked the way he went through his win. Uh, the second horse actually headed him but he came back and uh, he hit the line running. In terms of trip, Gav, I know that uh, Lady Windermere uh, got up to 1,600 uh, from the Glen Cotson camp, but uh, he'd probably be looking for further in time. Yeah, feels like it, but I'll, I'll leave that to Mr. DeCock. Um, well done to him and to Matthew and the whole team. Uh, they've done a great job. In terms of your health, Gav, I know that uh, you've got your followers out there. We just wanted to have an update. I know we're leading into the Jockeys International on the 16th. Are uh, you in good spirit? Yes, great spirit. Um, the winners are coming nicely and uh, looking forward to the, the season aid. Anything else the punters can include? Uh, don't leave me out. <laughs> just <laughs> just uh, uh, deepest condolences to, to Sherry Habib's family. Um, he's a great man, a good family friend to Tyra and Zaki and their whole family. Our deepest condolences and may soul rest peacefully. We echo those sentiments. Well done, Kev. Good to have you back in the winner's enclosure, Mr. DeCock. Good to have you on course, sir. I know that's a superb Saturday. And uh, just on behalf of the Teletrack family and the racing fraternity, well done over there. Back to this individual, naughty guy, but a good win. Yeah, very naughty. I mean, he doesn't inspire any confidence. He, very, he behaved very badly at the back. But, you know, sometimes they, they, still, they still get over it. Um, I still feel uh, that... It, to reach his full potential, he's probably going to have to be gelded once or sometime in his life. But it, you know, it's very difficult with a, a very well-bred, good-looking horse like this to, you know, to actually take that plunge. So we'll box on uh, up until now. But um, uh, you know, uh, Mary and Mr. Javid have been very patient with him. Um, but you know, we, we eventually had to get him onto the track and get him running and see what we've got. Um, I think he's, I think he's got a lot of scope for improvement, just mentally more than anything else. Um, form today, I think, is a reasonable form field, so one can be encouraged with the one. In terms of opening price, Mr. De Kock, I don't want to chat to you about that. So they see De Kock first time, a four and a half million rand, 13 to 10 did look a little bit ridiculous. It does, you know. Um, I mean, it's hard to, to, to criticize because uh, uh, what, if, what a bookmaker's got to go on, you know, only what they see on paper. Um, uh, you know, again, we've got horses we can try them with, uh, and, and a number of really nice horses, which we had done. And he was just going okay with them, you know. So he wasn't giving us massive amount of confidence. So I like the fact that he actually he put it in here today and Gavin said he was actually headed. So uh, that's encouraging as well. But, you know, a long way to go before he gets anywhere near what he cost. Two more runners from your side. Of course, uh, we'll touch on uh, Sparrow Optima. He looks to be improving. He is a nice type of horse. Um, we're bringing him back to the mile here uh, with a view to see if he's good enough to run in the Dingons or not. If not, uh, then we put him away because... Frankly, I think he's a, he's a derby horse more than he's anything else. A lot to find on ratings today, but um, it's very difficult to go on ratings because it's a relatively unexposed field in terms of the two that I think are the principal, Sean's Philly Mine, uh, Candace's horse is quite well exposed. So, uh, you know, very difficult for punters, I'd say. And then perfectly putt. He went down to Gravel to break down the Maidens. Of course, a little bit stronger today. Yeah, he is, I think he's a very limited horse. Um, uh, it would be a surprise if he, if he came and won again here so quickly, uh, given his rating. Um, I mean, he's probably about, you know, he's, he's, he's a bit too high for me. Always great to have you on course, sir, and uh, absolute pleasure. And uh, thanks for your transparency over here. Cheers, thanks very much. Lovely stuff. Well done to Mr. DeCock. Well played, of course, uh, to the owners involved, big players in the sport that we love so much of racing, and uh, they really have a nice type on their hands. Be interesting to see where he progresses from here. Yeah, number 11, Oscar Wilde. He's a son of Dynasty. He got squeezed at the gates, and he still turned it on, electrifying in the closing stages. So well done to Gavin Larina. Well done to the Mike DeCock camp. We've still got lots of racing to come your way. Luckily,
like you heard uh, from the commentary box, muddy conditions out here. We've got a bit of a headwind, Gav said, and uh, it is a little bit gloomy. We're not too sure what to expect because the sun is trying to poke through at stages. But um, get those PAs on, pick sixes, jackpots. There's still a whole host of bets to come your way this afternoon. Sit back, relax, enjoy it, and I'll chat to you in about 15 minutes from now. Fourteen fifty, flag up, racing, and racing to a fair start. Thunderbolt Lane at the outside got a good break. Temani knows all about it on debut, right up there in the early stages. Trend Master in the light blue is at the outside of Crazy.